Welcome everybody to another Mac Doodles presented to you by the Mesquite Arts Council. I'm your host and instructor Eric Guajardo and today we're going to be talking about artists of color. Given that it is February and we are celebrating Black History Month, I thought it was important to talk about artists that have contributed to the art scene and that are of color. Although the majority of artists that we're going to be talking today are of contemporary black culture, I also wanted to shine the light of those who may be mixed. So, with the help of this wonderful book that I found at the Mesquite Public Library called Young, Gifted, and Black by Jamia Wilson and illustrated by Andrea Pippins, I thought that this is a great opportunity to learn a bit, little bit about history and celebrate the wonderful illustrations that are represented in this book. What we'll do is pick out three different artists and I'll teach you how to illustrate them based on what we see and the wonderful job that Miss Pippins did. To get started, I would like to explore the history of one of my favorite artists, which is Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat was an artist in the 60s that ran with a crowd of Andy Warhol, and he is from Haitian and Black descent. The best thing that I love about him is that he took simple mark making and broke it down to its most primitive form so that you can really understand and focus on colors and line work. I feel like this particular artwork is going to most relate to our younger crowd. Those who are still learning how to create simple shapes but express themselves in wonderful colors. So, let's dive into this book and see what Jean-Michel had to offer. Jean-Michel Basquiat. He was born on December 22nd, 1960, and he died August 12th, 1988. He resided in Brooklyn, New York of the USA. He's known as an American painter and was considered a street artist, an expressive painter who collaborated with pop artist Andy Warhol, the son of a Puerto Rican mother and a Haitian father. Jean-Michel Basquiat joined the Brooklyn Museum as a junior member at six years old fluent in French, English, and Spanish by age 11. Jean-Michel dreamed of becoming a cartoonist. After surviving a car accident, his mother gave him a copy of a medical book, Grey's Anatomy. He became fascinated with the structure of the human body and often referenced it in his art. He made poetry, music, and street art in high school practicing learning by doing. I start a picture and I finish it. After his graffiti tag became famous, he caught the attention of the art world. His paintings gained recognition throughout his 20s. Basquiat's imaginative mix of high art with pop culture and his references to jazz, hip hop, and black history capulated him to celebrity. When he died, he left behind over a thousand unseen paintings. I didn't learn about Basquiat until I was in my early 20s. I was in college and, you know, art school had a lot to do with learning outside the classroom. A fun way to gather with friends was watching movies. And there's some great movies out there about this particular artist, and I would recommend you seeing them. I'll leave you even a QR code so that you can scan and maybe learn something. Well, if you're ready to get started with illustrating 
This guy right here, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Then I'm ready to start doodling. Gather your pencil, eraser, pens, and paper, and let's get started. Next on our list is going to be Josephine Baker. Josephine Baker was an entertainer. And when people think artist, I feel like sometimes that word is not translated from visual art to performing art. Josephine Baker was a performing artist. So let's learn a little bit about her. Josephine Baker was born June 3, 1906. She died April 12, 1975. She resided in St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Josephine Baker was an American-born French entertainer, World War II resistance spy, and a civil rights activist. The daughter of a laundress and a drummer Josephine grew up in poverty, forced to work as a servant to provide food for her family. She took on adult responsibilities when she was just eight. By 13, Josephine ran away from home. When she wasn't working, she performed on, the, on street corners. Her talent landed her a job dancing, singing, and acting for local shows. Several years later, she made her Broadway debut in the music Shuffle Along. Her success propelled her to France in 1925, where she captured the heart of audiences. Within a decade, Josephine became one of the most well-known stars in Europe. After dancing in a banana skirt during her iconic show, La Fille du Jeu, when World War II broke out, she helped support the Allies by working as a spy. While, while she toured Europe, she passed on secret messages that were hidden in her sheet music. After the war, she went on to adopt 12 children. Wow, Josephine was a really, really special individual. What I really like about the illustration in this book is that it has lots of movement. You can tell that she was spunky. So, if you're ready to get started to see how to illustrate Josephine Baker, I'm ready to teach you. Thank you. 
last artist that we're going to be doodling today is Nina Simone. I chose her because here at the Arts Center, every year in July, we have a theater program for kids. It's called Missoula Children's Theater. This is a program where children can learn how to act and perform on stage. But it also includes a pianist to create the music for the children to perform. I thought this kind of was relevant to Nina Simone because she was a pianist who learned how to play before she could even reach the pedals. So, let's check out what Nina Simone, history and life look like. Nina Simone, born February 21st, 1933, passed away on April 21st, 2003, resided in Tryon, North Carolina, USA. Known for her honest lyrics and fiery performances, singer, pianist, and civil rights activist, Nina Simone broke cultural barriers. At three, Nina began playing piano before she could reach the pedals. A lonely child, she took comfort in connecting with others through music. Nina tried to become a classical pianist at age six onwards. At 12, her recital was interrupted by the discord of discrimination. When Nina's parents were removed from their seats, she demanded their return to the front row. Her community believed in her gifts and helped fundraise for her education at the Juilliard School of Music. When her money ran out, she played jazz at clubs to support herself. She gained a following, and in 1957, her top 20 track, I Love You Porky, introduced her to the world stage. Nina also used her voice as a megaphone for civil rights movement in the 60s. She said, there's no excuse for young people not knowing who the heroes and harems were. Enraged by racial injustice in the US, she lived abroad from 1973 until her death. Not only did I pick Nina Simone as our last person to contribute to our artists of color, I also picked her because the illustration in this book is wonderful. It has imagery that represents what she did as an artist in her culture. So, if you're ready to learn about how to illustrate this image, I'm ready to show you how. I want to thank each and every one of you for 
joining me today. This Mac Doodles is a little bit different than the other Mac Doodles that we've done in the past because I wanted to focus on the educational aspect of not only doodling, but teaching an individual the history behind what we are doodling. Mesquite Arts Center's programming is focused in February on Black History Month. And because of this, we are trying to indulge and learn on what it means to live in a society of Black culture. I am not Black by any means, and I'm not trying to appropriate anything, but I do have Black individuals in my family that I love very much, and they are of mixed race. And I just wanted to give a shout out to every single individual of that that may be a colored artist, which I identify as. Not excluding anybody that who is not. Maybe just including them on some of the history that's behind us. I look forward to our journey each and every month here, the last Wednesday, as we look inside Mac Doodles and learn about different cultures, different ideas, and maybe even some fun stuff, just as simple as spring. Until we see each other again, stay safe and wear a mask.